Smoke and noise for a Plano neighborhood as a fire at a recycling plant continues to burn more than two days now after it ignited. Jeff Paul is live where patience among residents is now growing thin tonight. Jeff? Well, Ken, just driving down the street, you can see there is still smoke spilling into the road as crews over here, even this late at night, working to finally put this fire to rest. What you're not experiencing, though, are the smells right now that are coating the dozens and dozens of, re of residents who live just beyond this structure. More than 48 hours in counting. Uh, it's been a little rowdy. It's been a little wild. It looked like Armageddon the first night. Resident Marco Salinas says not much has improved since. I've tried to avoid being outside this whole time. We caught up with Salinas while he was walking his dog. He's one of several residents that are living with an active fire at a waste facility right in their backyard. It does stop a lot of traffic. A lot of people have been pulling over just to take pictures or take videos. Selena says the smell from the smoke makes him and others feel sick. Is it harmful? Is there uh, any waste or anything like that? Uh, it's, it's a little terrifying knowing what it could be. The trash plant caught fire on Wednesday, and the city says hazmat crews tested the air and deemed it safe. Since the structure is so large and the material inside could be combustible, the city took the safest route possible, fight the fire from the outside, and let it smolder. We haven't had anyone knock on our front door. All the firemen told us was uh, stay inside for the meanwhile. The city says demolition crews are now slowly taking the building apart, allowing firefighters to douse each piece. Well Selena right. says he wants the fire out and the nightmare to end. It looked like the end of the world. I mean, you see big old planes and whatnot. You're kind of terrified. You, you want to take your kids, your dogs, your family outside. Now, the city of Plano says once that structure comes down, the fire shouldn't take too much longer to finally be extinguished. Reporting live here in Plano, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.